What's going on guys, p Will back here for another video. Today we're talking about how you can make your drill sergeant very angry at basic training. Now before we get into it, I should let you know that you're gonna make your drill sergeants angry no matter what you do. There's nothing you can do to stop it, but there are things you can do and certain things that will make your drill sergeant go absolutely berserk on you if he catches you doing these things. I've come up with five things that I think, I thought back to basic training, and these really will make your drill sergeants angry. So let's get right into it. So number one on my list is sneaking chow out of the defect or keeping food out of your MRE. So if you do this, your drill sergeants are gonna get absolutely pissed off. Um, they blatantly tell you not to take food out of the defect. They catch any, like, food is in the defect or out on the drill pad when you're eating MREs. That's where food stays, and if they catch you, taking food out of your MRE or it out of your uh, out of the defect it is a it just shows dishonesty and they see it as an integrity violation and they will uh, definitely smoke the entire platoon you will probably get a counseling of some sort with uh, a plan of action and you possibly will get red phase restarted where they no matter where you're at in basic training you go back to day one of basic training and you don't want that to happen so keep food in the defect and don't try to sneak like a cookie out of your mre or some gum because somebody did get red phase restarted for uh stealing a pack of nut trail mix so it's not worth it is nut trail mix worth all of basic training to you not to me. The number two thing on my list that will piss off your drill sergeant is being the know-it-all trainee, or as some people call them, the JROTC trainee. And it, we don't dislike you. Trainees don't dislike you because you went to JROTC. They dislike you because you feel the urge to let us know every day by answering questions with such intensity but blatantly incorrect in front of the drill sergeants that we just know that you went to JROTC. And you tell us every day in the... Uh, in the barracks after hours when we're trying to go to sleep. All the knowledge you seem to have learned at JROTC and in the classroom in front of the drill sergeants. Uh, we definitely had this one guy that would say, well, when I was in JROTC, we did it this way. And uh, we got smoked for a good 20, 25 minutes because of that. So don't be a JROTC trainee. It won't work out for you. If you're a JROTC trainee, that's good. Use the knowledge, but uh, you know, interject it wisely. Don't say, I was in JROTC. The next thing that will piss off your drill sergeant is being late to formation. Um, there's nothing worse than starting off the day, before the day's even begun really, than getting in trouble because people are late to formation. The drill sergeants are tired, they're cranky, and they're just looking for a reason to get to be able to smoke you at PT. That's just about to happen. Um, so. But there's gonna be those guys. There's gonna be those trainees that are literally late to formation every day and will be running up when the drill sergeants are putting up formation and calling fall in. There will be people running up. And yeah, it just depends on if the drill sergeants wanna take their anger out on you or not. Um, and if they do, it's gonna, it's gonna be a rough day because they've got literally an hour and a half to smoke you before you've got a beat of breakfast. And it just sets a bad tone for the entire day. So I highly recommend if you, you know, you're a leader in basic training, anybody, make sure you're getting to formation, make sure you're getting your people to formation or you're gonna get smoked a lot and it's gonna be some rough days in basic training. Another thing that will anger your drill sergeants, going along the same theme of formations, is while you're marching in formation, if you're talking. They, it's specific in drill and ceremony, when, when you're doing drill and ceremony, that they're gonna tell you not to talk and march in formation, but people are gonna do it. People are gonna do it when you're marching to the defect. People are gonna do it when you're marching back from the defect, marching wherever you gotta go. And uh, you know, your drill sergeants aren't gonna hear you all the time. A lot of times you're marching company formations or, and platoon formations most of the time, but uh, there will be times when you're not sounding off and uh, your drill sergeant will be able to hear people talking. And I remember after we got out of the defect one day, we got smoked and a good, uh, you know, a good chewing out because people were talking with formation the drill sergeant gave them one warning and he, he platoon bolted the uh, formation and he smoked us in the middle of the road on the way to the defect, on the way back from the defect. So if you don't want to get smoked, don't talk in formation while you're marching. Uh, and all of these things they've told you, they will tell you not to do them and people will do them. That's why you get smoked for them. And number five on the list 
It's last, but it's definitely not least. Um, what will make your drill sergeant angry, and maybe more angry than anything else, is being a safety violation when you're at the range practicing with your M4 or uh, trying to qualify. If you're being a safety violation by flagging, uh, goofing around, talking excessively, the drill sergeants are authorized to use, um, to, they're authorized to physically neutralize any safety violations on the range, and they will. Um, there were definitely people that got uh, boots to the back when they were trying to get up or boots to the chest keeping them down people getting tackled uh, the drill sergeants aren't allowed to hit you in basic training but they are allowed to physically neutralize any safety violations on the range and that's what you would want from a drill sergeant you know an NCO to make sure that everybody else is safe on the range so if you're gonna be dumb and and flag people on the range and it happens it happens sometimes you're just not thinking but you want to piss off a drill sergeant and set a tone for the rest of the day and probably the rest of the week be a safety violation and that will get you smoked and physically harmed or put you in danger if you are a safety violation on the range. So guys, that's my list of how to piss off a drill sergeant. I hope this video helped you out. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All of these things you can avoid but people are gonna do them anyway and you may be one of those people, but I highly advise you keep these things in mind and don't be that guy at basic training to, uh, to do this and make your drill sergeant angry. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. I get back to every comment. Come on over to my Instagram, at pwilson35. I answer every single DM I get over there. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.